Hey everyone, in today's video, we'll be looking at formatting a text box for currency values when the user enters in the data. So for example, if you happen to enter in, let's say uh, one and a half million, you will see that if the user clicks off, it automatically formats for them, uh, leaving no questions in terms of, you know, what the value is that they entered. So we want our currency field in our Canvas app to work similarly to how it works in the model-driven app. So you'll see I'm in a model-driven app record here uh, for um, an, a company. And if I enter in a value in a currency field, you will see that it, no formatting happens when you're entering in the, the data here. But if you click off, you see it automatically formats. So that's how we'll want it to work in our Canvas app. So if we go back to our Canvas app here, and what we will do is you'll see that if I click between any of the gallery selections here, there's no formatting involved. But we do have formatting in our gallery here, and that's a simple formula that's you know easy to find. You just cast the, the value as text for the credit limit, and then it's like US encoding for the currency field, and then you have the formatting components along with it. So it's comma delimited, so if I happen to remove that, you'll see that the commas are missing. And if I happen to remove, let's say, a zero with a pound symbol, that's because the zeros represent a default value where the pound is actually optional. So if you happen to have this as pound pound, you will see that the period is there, but the cents are missing. So that's why it's always good to have defaults. So if we want the text box value to work similarly to the value up here, what we can do, it's easy, you know, a copy and paste of this value. So if I go down here and I go to the default value, I could just paste that in and it'll work the same. So I could just toggle between. However, you will notice that if I go and enter in a value, there's no formatting involved. Okay, so it just, it's the same. It, it's just, um, there's no formatting there. So that's what we want to do, is try to get to be formatted. So to do that, what we will need to do is look at the on change event of this text field. And one thing I want you to keep in mind is when you're on your text field here, the format should be text and not number because you would not be permitted to enter in like a dollar signs or the, the pound, um, you know, currency values um, to appear there. So you should always have it as text. So if you go to the on change event of your uh, text field, this is where we'll need two uh, variables uh, and they can be local variables to the screen. One is the amount value that's been entered and the other is a flag that says that the user made a change, so amount updated. So we will quickly do that. And what we will call this is amount value. And this is self.value, or it's, sorry, self.text. And the next one is going to be amount updated. So this is just a, you know, a binary value. So we'll set this to true just to let us know that the value has been updated by the user. So if we go back to our default property of the text box, what we can do here is say, okay, if the amount has been updated by the user, format that value that's been entered by them. So what we will do is say if amount is updated, What we will do, and I will just copy this down here, but there's definitely some changes involved. Um, so one thing that we want to do is reference the amount value. And we do want to cast this as a value around it. So we want to reference the currency amount or the, the a number. So if we go and Say this is our if condition, this is our else. So else is we will reference what's in the database. 
And then if we close that up, if we go here now, and let's say we enter in, you know, 256,000 and we click off, you'll see that it formats. However, you'll see that if I click between each of these rows, you'll see it does not update. So what we want to do is turn off that flag and turn off that amount value or leave it blank for when we toggle between rows in the gallery. So to do that, we will go and grab our on change variables here. And then we will select our gallery. We will go to the on select property. And what we will do is paste those in and say, we're gonna leave this as blank and the amount update is going to be false. So this way we toggle between it's updating. If we enter, let's say 270,000, okay. And I happen to toggle, it updates. But now if I click save, you will see that the credit limit for the AdventureWorks company will then update. So if I press save, you'll see that it's been updated, which is exactly what we wanted. So from here, one thing I wanna show is on our save, even though we've formatted this as a currency, on our save where we're actually updating the account, we're patching it and we're updating the credit limit, you'll see how the text is represented in the currency format. But if I go to the value property here, you will see that it strips out all the formatting and sends along the actual numeric value to the database. So this will give you an easy way for consistent data entry in your, you know, in your system so that if a user happens to, you know, change the formatting or anything like, or change the values, it will actually show in the currency format and you won't have you know complaints of well is this hundred thousand or a million it's hard to tell um, it allows you to easily format the currencies in your text boxes while they're being updated and easily save them to the database